What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to episode 3 of Life is Strange in episode 4. Um, I said 4, really weird. Um, oh, okay, so this must be the billboard. My finger cracked and now it hurts. <laughs> when I went like this. Ow, that really hurt for some reason. <laughs> Ugh. I think there's something wrong with one of the joints of my finger, because when I turn it, it like... I'm getting lost in all this it, shit. It's like it, it cracks, but it almost feels like something's loose in there. Oh, I don't like that feeling. Examine. I think that, that was Rachel Ann. So Amber, close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? <laughs> One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. At least he is leaving me. I can't abuse so this will be level better. of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate this butterfly. I just cut her off by like accident. I don't know what she was saying. Ago. How much time have I altered since? Hmm. I'm gonna press tab. Okay, I must go downstairs and investigate David. All right.
All right, so there's a bit of an interruption there, but it seems there's, again, well, I guess it's like three pages, but I'm going to quickly read through this. Um, and yeah, so let's never do the time warp again. I can't even begin to explain what happened. If I think too hard about the ramifications, my brain might melt. When I try to describe it, it's as if I'm describing something that happened to someone else. Chloe was so upset when we discovered that Rachel had actually been involved with Frank Bowers. I, I was going to say Frank Bowser. But anyways, um, and she just blew up. I can't, I can never talk to her when she's like this, and I just get so tired of having to walk on eggshells around her emotions. She still blames William for her messed up life, no matter how much she knows she's being unfair. I can't say that I wouldn't be just as messed up, not that I'm not in my own way. Whatever that means. In my room, all I could think was, I wish I could go back in time and help Chloe. And suddenly, I was looking at the photograph William had taken of us on the day he died. And it started pulsing like it was 3D, like I could see inside the photograph. Then I found myself actually back in the photo, to when I was 13 years old, I was back in Chloe's kitchen in the year 2008. With Chloe and William. Right before he left to pick up Joyce for the last time. Since my power somehow morphed to this new level of rewind, I decided that there was no way I was going to let William die again. Pardon me. Uh, so I played hide the keys until he had no other option but to take the bus. I was so happy I actually saved William. I never thought about what could go wrong. I knew I was screwed when I came out of my epic rewind and saw Victoria Chase, but now she was my friend, <coughs> and I was a member of the Vortex Club. Enough said. I knew I had screwed up, and then I felt sick thinking about that. What might have changed with Chloe? I had a clue when I saw David Madsen driving the school bus. He sure didn't look so threatening anymore. I didn't want to know how he ended up as a bus driver instead of with Joyce. I felt my heart drop when I rushed to Chloe's house. So when William opened the door, I prepared myself for the worst. That's when Chloe rolled forward in her wheelchair, paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't even know what to say, so I covered my mouth in my typical gest gesture of shock and stupid. But Chloe's smile was so genuine and beautiful I almost cried. I had to adjust everything without freaking out or telling Chloe that I actually altered time and space to save her father, but get her in a car accident so she can never walk again. The thing is, she was still Chloe, just minus all the rage. This Chloe was just grateful to be alive and have her family watching over her. Chloe begged me to spend the night, and of course, I did. I noticed how run down parts of their home were, compared to before. I saw the incredible expensive equipment that Chloe now requires, including her new garage room. Sorry, David. <coughs> Even though I felt awful and disconnected, Chloe was just so bubbly and excited to hang out with me again, especially since I flaked on her pretty hardcore after her accident. Even in an alternate universe, I'm a shitty friend. Chloe's world was so new and unique to me, especially her strength and kindness and pain. She needed a whole pharmacy to get through the day. I didn't feel sorry for her. I felt in awe with her attitude. This Chloe didn't blame anybody for her condition, even though she had the right. We strolled down the beach and saw beached whales that proved something bad was happening in both realities. In the last page. And then Chloe asked me to put her to sleep. The accident left her body pretty much broken. Her lungs stopped working properly, and she was basically dying a slow, painful death. <coughs> Excuse me, again. She also felt so guilty about her parents' sacrifice and dwindling income. She wasn't erratic or tortured about this request, just practical. Which made me feel even more terrible for putting her in this situation. But there was no way I was going to help my best friend take her own life. I couldn't do it especially after what happened with Kate. I know I could have done whatever Chloe asked of me, considering I was responsible for her situation, but how could I inject her full of morphine and just watch her fade away? I know she was upset, but I just had to tell myself that re that this reality wasn't real. <coughs> my throat is starting to itch the more I talk. After my visit to Chloe's new world, I knew it was time to go max to the future. I hate that <laughs> um and it's it's a pun on back to the future but yeah <laughs> i had seen the result of my temporal tampering 
and I got scared thinking of thinking my new power wouldn't even work anymore. That would have been cruel karma. Fortunately, I was able to project myself into the photograph once again, and I undid everything I had done. Goodbye, William. Again. Hello, David. Again. My throat. <coughs> okay, I thought that, I, for a second I thought there was more. I was going to cry. <coughs> I'm crying because of my throat right now. <coughs> oh, God. Why is there still a star? Oh, it's for this, I guess. This. Uh. <coughs> what are we looking at? I don't get it. Okay, I'm guessing there's a glitch. And now I have to go investigate David. <coughs> God damn it. I wish I had a mute button for this kind of situation. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander <coughs> off into the dark. Well, it's probably for the best that he's gone. Um, <coughs> God damn it. I think I need water or something. Looks like David already booked a room. I got a text. Uh, there's also more to read, damn it. Uh, what? <coughs> Are we being mean to Warren for some reason? Hold on a sec. I really need water. Holy crap. <coughs> oh my god.
God. Alright, uh, I feel like I've almost died, but I'm going to probably not talk a whole lot right now just until my throat feels a little better, but I drank some water and it's mostly phlegm that is like caught in my throat and the more I talk the worse it gets, <clears throat> but I, I should be good for now. I'm just going to try and finish the episode and then probably take a break until I do the others, but I have to read. <laughs> I am so sorry. Uh, yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number, or at least I still get to go ape with you. Unless you want to chill with Chloe, or we could all go. One pain in the ass enough is cool. What? <laughs> How did I just read that? <laughs> One <laughs> one pain in the ass is enough. Cool. <clears throat> I think I said something like one pain in the ass is cool. I don't, I don't know why I said that. I have to jet. Talk to you later. <clears throat> Alright. That's that. I hope there's not too much. Okay, good. I've never been so glad to see Chloe in my life. The second I saw her blue hair and that beautiful pissed off face, I wanted to kiss her again and I couldn't even tell her where I had been. I'm sorry, my nose is leaking. Or why? It would be one more thing to alienate Chloe from me and the world. I had to get refocused on her search for Rachel. Chloe had been busy with her d detective work while I was in my alternate timeline. <coughs> that star is still there. I think that's a glitch. Um, is there anything else that we have to look at? I can hear. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. <coughs> Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Oh, I went to speak and like, I don't know what the hell that was. Uh. But the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system is still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. What's <coughs> the knife? I didn't need a surveillance camera to see the suspension coming. Ooh. At least he has one weird fan. I just wanted to let you know, I think it's bullshit what happened to you in this school it has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. <coughs> I felt safe in my door when you were in charge and thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I am scared of this school. Wish I had surveillance <coughs> footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your, in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untru untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me it will continue to spread. Interesting. <coughs> Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Hmm. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Uh, I can't read that. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. 
I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay. I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. <coughs> I intend to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Dot, dot, dot. <coughs> wow. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could, too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or... David is out there armed. Oh, damn. <clears throat> what the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Hmm. Is there anything in here? Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? We have keys? <coughs> oh, um. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Uh. There has to be like a hammer or something. <coughs> Is there anything in here? Flyers. There's a wrench. Notice. Gun rack. Cardboard box. Everything's the same. For once, I don't have time to search for <coughs> code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. There has to be something. Oh, oh, oh. What? Uh, what? Yeah, huh? Look. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Oh, picture time. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. They're only eggs. They're not like birds yet. There's butterflies. I think something's going to happen with that plank. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Time lapsed. Uh. <coughs> oh, I <coughs> God damn it. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. Okay. Um, butterfly again. <coughs> oh, wait. Oh. I'm guessing we're just gonna have to leave the lock. Is it's that... amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Char, stool, sit. I don't wanna sit. There's no time to sit. God fucking damn it. Screw it. I'm just gonna go back up to Chloe, I think. Oh. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Okay. <coughs> I think we need to go back up to Chloe now. There's no way I can go to Chloe without going to David's locker. Well, I can't find anything to break it. Can we not use one of these bricks? Can't open any of these things. 
Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Excuse me. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Yeah. What was that? <coughs> oh, God. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. <coughs> Whoa, what does that say? Pay up. Hello? Score. Right. Back to Chloe now. Back to Chloe. <coughs> Oh, call Chloe? Okay. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, <sighs> and better. Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Nice. <coughs> now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. <laughs> Back to this old crusty thing. That's weird. I'm getting a message in OBS saying I can't find the window, but it's working fine. Oh, it says it there. Rachel something pay up. <clears throat> hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. <coughs> I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. <laughs> I have some pride. Be seeing you. <coughs> Hot floor teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. Oh, <sighs> Shut man. up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right, guys. Well, Let's I'm. See if I can find out. <coughs> where I, I, I think I might be dying. <coughs> On that note, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I'm gonna take a break <coughs> because I can barely talk right now. Without exploding into cough but uh, oh man I'm like getting all teary-eyed from coughing 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. I promise <coughs> next episode shouldn't be this bad. <laughs> it's, oh, I, I hate being sick. It's like, I was fine, and then all of a sudden, it's like, I guess I talked a little too much, and now my throat on, it, like, it feels like it's in my throat, but it might be in my lung. I don't know, like, it could be like the air hole or something, but it feels like something's slowly going down it, and then like start choking on it, and then I gotta like cough it up. And then it, it feels like there's something stuck there just hanging off the edge and I gotta like, cough it out. But anyways, enough of that grossness. Um, yeah, I think I said the outro stuff, so as always, bye for meow. <coughs> Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, as it does help me out a lot. If you like the music you're currently listening to, click the music icon. And if you want, check out my other various social medias by clicking the logos or by checking the description box down below. Also, don't forget to check out my fellow YouTube friends in the list on my channel to the right side. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the Clouder today. It's like Chowder, but with cats.